Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham. A world changing goal that began more than a decade ago is deemed a success this week and the earth is safer because of it. We're starting things off tonight with tonight's Fox Science Report. NASA's double asteroid redirection test launched into space aboard a Falcon 9 rocket last November. Its goal to hit an asteroid for the first time in human history. Ten months of space travel later, it did better than expected. And the mission design lead is a Shreveport native who's now a local legend. Two asteroids marking a history making moment in space as a first test mission for Earth. The smaller one, Dimorphos, becoming the scene of a massive impact. When the DART mission slammed into it on September 26, nudging it off its trajectory path, it created an enormous explosion, far more than we were anybody was prepared to anticipate. It was observed by telescopes from literally every continent and then. It was also observed from James Webb and the Hubble Space Telescope. It was the first thing they both looked at, which is pretty challenging because it's relatively close by and they're, they're both designed for looking at things far away. Mission design lead Justin Atchison says it's a mission success better than expected. The goal was to hit the asteroid and measure how much it changed orbit. The objective was to change its path by just a few minutes off course, and the results show it changed its path by 32 minutes instead. So it was a very uh, demonstrable change. And it's pretty exciting. DART's mission is planetary defense to protect the Earth from future impacts using a kinetic impactor as its test technology. If it had been a real threat, DART proved more effective at moving an asteroid than originally hypothesized. The mission, what's the next step? So the scientists are, are tearing apart every piece of data they can, looking at every image, image. Atchison says this all started as a PowerPoint presentation he started working on in 2011 with no chance of it coming to fruition. Two initiatives changed that. First, First, NASA was tasked to find all the asteroids nearby Earth and be prepared to mitigate them just in case, making DART a new priority. Then the Falcon 9 rocket came along, giving the mission its own launch vehicle. So after years of planning and hard work, the biggest feeling is relief. Relief for a job well done and relief for future Earth protection. And Atchison says in the near term, scientists will analyze everything about the impact and the debris that flew off of it. Then in the next four years, the European Space Agency will launch a spacecraft to travel back to the system to study the crater's impact and provide new images of the asteroid.